Industries, the world's largest blimp company, has successfully flown history's first fiber optic flight control system aboard one of their Skyship 600 series airships. The date, October 23rd, 1988. The place, Airship Industries United States Operations Base in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. This fly-by-light system, developed by GEC Avionics in conjunction with Airship Industries, offers major advantages over conventional flight control technology. Now, the story behind this historic event. This particular fly-by-light system we're flying today has been my baby right from the word go. Today is the first time that a, uh, an aircraft has flown totally reliant on a fly-by-light control system. That means we've got no manual backups. We're totally reliant on this fiber optic signaling to those controls. And it's, it's quite a breakthrough for the aviation uh, world. Uh, up until now, they've been reliant on what's called fly-by-wire, where all the signaling is done by electronics. And the problem with that is it's very subject to electromagnetic interference. The big advantage of the system over fly-by-wire, which is the state of the art as of the moment, is that it's totally immune to electromagnetic interference. Uh, therefore, they have had problems with aircraft and fly-by-wire. If you fly over a broadcasting station, you can pick up the electromagnetic signals and you can get interference, which can cause the aircraft in extreme conditions to go out of control. With fly-by-light, you can't get that interference. That's the theory. What was it like in practice? The test flight went beautifully. We flew uh, for an hour, and within five minutes, the pilot was totally at ease with the controls, and, and uh, we went, uh, put the ship through some, uh, some maneuvers, and it behaved beautifully. We've done three takeoffs and landings, and uh, it really solves a lot of the control problems that uh, airships have had in the past. It's great. Airships have always had a historic problem with their flying controls because the envelopes are so large and so flexible. You get a lot of lost motion. They're heavy to fly in, in rough weather. So one solution would have been to have gone to fly by wire, but we decided because of the added safety that we would jump technology and go straight to fly by light. So this is an, uh, another instance where sort of airships have actually led the way in uh, aircraft technology, and today we've seen that it works. Dave Burns, Airship Industries' chief test pilot, flew the historic mission. To me, as a pilot, the difference between this airship and the, our previous airships and most of the other airships around is that uh, the pilot workload is greatly reduced. I can fly this for many hours without becoming fatigued. Today's was one of the easiest uh, flights I've had and it required absolutely no physical effort at all during the whole two-hour odd flight. Three landings, uh, no physical effort at all and getting greater control deflections as there are no losses in the, the wire linkages and through the pulley system. The old system previously went from this control yoke here through a series of chains and pulleys along the gondola, around more pulleys and along a very extensive length of steel cable to the control surfaces at the back end of the airship. Uh, in this system, the only controls go from here into the transducers which are right behind the, the console here and from then on light and electronics does all the work. This fly the light system is certainly the way to go in that uh, it removes one of the major obstacles from long-term airship, long-endurance airship flying, which is pilot fatigue. Pilots will also be able to fly much longer and much, therefore the airship can do much longer missions, which is the main advantage of the airship. The airship we're flying today is part of the uh, US Navy airship program and this flight control system we're testing on a small airship uh, as being a prototype for the much bigger airship we'll be flying in two years' time. This flight control system has proved to be such a success here today that I think we'll be fitting it as a, a standard to, uh, to all our small airships as, as well as the bigger ones in the future. At the leading edge of technology, Airship Industries has been awarded the U.S. Navy contract to develop and construct the much larger Skyship 5000 series. It's important to airships and it's important to the aviation uh, industry in general because fly-by-light is the next step on from uh, fly-by-wire flight control system. Fly-by-wire is what's uh, flying on uh, the fast military aircraft uh, of the day, coming in onto the big airliners. And fly-by-light is the next generation on from there, so you know, we're the first people uh, with a system that's up and running. Fly-by-light 
control systems will be the standard for the big major aircraft of the future. October 23rd, 1988, a day to go down in history for airship industries and for aviation.